starts now. Good evening and welcome to Newswatch 12 at 6. I'm Dan Hagen. Severe weather is making its way through north central Wisconsin right now. Meteorologist Conrad Supinski joins us from our weather center. So Conrad, what are we seeing out there right now? Yeah, so right now in Rhinelander, we just have some thicker clouds, but overall, we just got missed from a severe thunderstorm that hit Crandon a little bit earlier right now. Now it's in the Forest and Florence counties to the north that has produced a quarter size to even golf pong size hail. So really a big hail out there with gusty winds coming close to 60 miles per hour. So be careful out there because it will get windy and rainy. And this is just the beginning. Storms are starting to pop up here just to the south as this whole area right over here from the UP all the way down south closer to Chicago, the yellow is tornado watches because the area is favorable for some tornadic activity and some severe thunderstorms that are starting to pop up there right now that will be moving out by the overnight to morning hours tomorrow and then round two again by tomorrow night into the morning hours on Thursday with a line of thunderstorms. But we do have a marginal to a slight chance of tornadoes out here tonight. Night. Severe thunderstorms are starting to pop up just to the east and southeast of us. And overall, pay attention, be careful, and be on alert, folks, because these thunderstorms are going to be quick hitters and very strong with that because lots of temperatures are warm out there. So that is more fuel for these storms. But temperatures tonight will continue to drop into the low 50s. Dan? Strong storms rumbled through the upper Midwest yesterday, leaving behind heavy damage. This was the scene in St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin today. You can see trees down, buildings damaged, and power crews on the scene. One resident said the storm hit like a freight train. It's still unclear if the damage was caused by an actual tornado. There were no reports of serious injuries. A Wisconsin congressional candidate was found with a loaded gun in his carry-on bag at an Iowa airport last year. Republican Derek Van Orden is running to fill the seat being vacated by Democratic Representative Ron Kind. Van Orden was cited in August for having a loaded 9mm Sig Sauer handgun in his bag at the security checkpoint at the Cedar Rapids Iowa airport. Van Order, Van Orden entered a guilty plea in December. He was ordered to pay $360 and show he had taken a firearms safety course. Van Orden declined to be interviewed. His campaign said he brought the gun to the airport checkpoint by mistake. Northwoods patients have another medical option to receive immediate care in the Minocqua area. Aspirus Health announced Monday that Howard Young Medical Center is now offering urgent care services. Aspirus says urgent care could help patients with upper respiratory infections, strains and sprains, ear infections, insect bites, cuts, or other minor illnesses. The provider will be able to perform minor procedures, basic lab tests, and imaging. Aspirus says visitors to their urgent care will typically have a shorter wait time than the ER, plus a smaller bill. The Howard Young Urgent Care Center is available without an appointment seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. at the emergency entrance. Nicolet College rece received nearly $1 million in grants from the Wisconsin Technical College System. The largest grant is $350,000. That will be used to further expand the college's family of patient simulators for students in healthcare programs. Other grants will go towards developing and implementing diversity, equity, and inclusion work across campus and the piloting of virtual reality assessment and simulations. Also, grant money will be directed toward programs for all middle and high school students visiting the college for career and college exploration events. Third graders in the school district of Rhinelander are working to better the world by starting a war, a penny war. With this plan, they will help people in need of water filters in Africa. Newswatch tells Mohamed Abdul Kawi has the story. Everybody needs water. A few years ago, Jenny Prom's second grade students got inspired by a book. After reading that book, they wanted to make a difference in the world with a new initiative. The Penny War Challenge started with my second grade class several years ago when we read The Water Princess. And my second grade students felt so passionately about 
what that girl had to go through every day to still have to clean the water and potentially get sick from it, that they wanted to do something. Jenny Prom is an instructional coach for several elementary schools. She introduced water safety to the curriculum, which led to the start of Penny Wars. Many of them are so excited to do this. Even those that are less fortunate feel like they can help because they are the lucky ones that have the clean water and they want other students to have what they take for granted. Pennies and dollar bills are positive points, so the students want to bring those in for their classroom. Silver coins, dimes, nickels, and quarters are negative, so they go around to classes and get their siblings or their friends' classrooms. Rory is a third grade student, and he is excited to help those in need. We um, can help save the water and they won't have to drink any dirty water anymore. Central, Crescent, NCES, and Pelican Elementary School are all the other schools that are involved as well. Each school has a set goal of $400, with each filter costing $75. Or when the funds raised come together, there's enough money for a town the size of Rhinelander to have clean water for eight and a half years over in Africa. And Jenny hopes that the Penny Wars will create an experience for the students that they'll never forget. But it's even more important that they leave this experience realizing the power of being kind and i hope that's something they keep with them for a long time reporting in rhinelander muhammad abdul kawi news watch 12. coming up after the break we'll hear how a generous gift is helping a community grieve that's after weather with conrad right here on news watch 12. this portion of news watch 12 is brought to you by slumberland here at Nicolay Law, we've been really fortunate to have people that have worked here for over a decade, to have people that are friends, to people that are family members, and that transfers over to a unique law firm, a law firm that wins for our clients because of that unique relationship, that connection, that dedication, that watching each other's back, and that everyone here wants to help each other, and more importantly, wants to help each other's clients. Get local, award-winning injury lawyers. Get Nicolay. Come to Carpet City Flooring Center's grand opening sale and receive massive savings along with free carpet installation. Take advantage of grand opening savings at the brand new Eagle River Store and all existing locations. Come see why builders and designers only choose Carpet City Flooring Center for their flooring needs. And receive huge savings at the Carpet City Flooring Center grand opening sale. Our prices will blow. At Lens Truck, we've made the buying experience fast and easy. All our trucks are guaranteed clean certified, can be bought hassle-free online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. And when you buy a Lens Truck, know that you're buying the best used truck money can buy. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all priced to move. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. We've been through a lot in the last few years. We've been down. We've risen. We've hurt. We've healed. And through it all, we've not lost our courage or our hope. And while there's work to do, our governor is determined to do what's right for us. Tony Evers invested over a billion dollars to help thousands of small businesses prevent layoffs and create jobs. To battle rising costs, our governor worked with Republicans and Democrats to pass middle-class income tax relief. Tony Evers fixed our roads, and our public schools are now in the top 10 in America. Today, Wisconsin has one of the lowest unemployment rates in our history, along with billions in budget surplus. Folks, there's too much division in politics today. That's why I'm focused on bringing people together to get the results that matter. Tony Evers. He's doing the right thing for Wisconsin. Good afternoon and welcome back everyone. So behind me is a shot from Rhinelander. Yeah, just some thicker clouds starting to roll on in. These darker shades of blue is some precipitation that is starting to pop up out there. But overall, we had some severe thunderstorm warnings in Forest, Florence, 
uh, all these counties all around where Crandon even had a uh, quarter size to ping pong size hail with gusts up to 60 miles per hour. Luckily, no tornadoes, but really heavy winds and heavy rain with that as well. Look at these uh, that are finally starting to dissipate and moving out of the area, but overall, these storms are just starting to form, especially to the south and east of us. Look at this little band right here. Could barely see that, but that is starting to move slowly into the Green Bay area, and more storms will continue to pop up south of us. And overall, we are in a marginal to a slight risk of severe weather. And yeah, even a slight risk is a good chance that some severe thunderstorms will be popping up, especially sporadically here and there. But overall, be careful out there, folks, because these storms will be popping up the next several hours. But then we start to taper off overnight and then we clear up by tomorrow before round two, another line of thunderstorms starts to move in by Wednesday night into the Thursday morning time frame. And then once again, more rain is back by Friday. So nonstop rain with those really warm temperatures out there right now. We're pretty much in the 70s and 80s all across the area, except this little pocket of cooler air by Lando Lakes, Eagle River, and Iron Mountain area where that heavy rain is actually there. We're really cooling down the atmosphere here um, in those locations but overall we are really warm out there so it is nice and pleasant but that is also a bad thing because it is fuel for all those thunderstorms that are popping up out there so our average high this time of year is supposed to be around 64 degrees with an average low of around 38 so with our average high we are well above that today and we will continue to be well above that Till the end of the week, look at Thursday and Friday. We might actually break a record for Thursday for a record high, and then we start to cool off by Sunday. And then beginning of next week, we'll be slightly below average, actually to close to average. So cooler temperatures are on the way. But tonight, that rain starts to move on out of here, and we'll be under partly cloudy skies, mostly cloudy at first, and then the clouds start to dissipate later on in the night with temperatures in the lower 50s. Tomorrow, a nice, beautiful day out there. Temperatures in the upper 70s. The sun will be peeking out with partly cloudy skies, and then more chances of storms are back with their seven-day outlook brought to you by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress. Does show those warmer temperatures back by Thursday and Friday. With 80s, yeah, finally nice weather is back, but that brings chances of thunderstorms through the weekend, and then we really start to cool off by beginning of next week. Dan? In Crandon today, a check was dropped off at the Forest County Sheriff's Office. It will be used to purchase a life-saving device called an AED. Leona High School senior Joe Milan led the charge through a fundraiser with the goal of collecting around $900. Sheriff Ronald Scalarud believes the automatic external defibrillator will be an important asset for the county jail. Because of the inmates that we have, uh, that we service, also our staff and the service providers that come here, we just thought it would be in the best interest of the jail to have an advanced life support system. Leona senior Joe Milan says the fundraiser was a great accomplishment to help the department, which did not have the funding to purchase the device. It's uh, a pretty good feeling to know that you know, this piece of equipment gets to come and hopefully help out the jail. In the past, the sheriff's office did have an AED in their facility. However, after that device failed, they could not afford to buy a new one. They plan to have the new defibrillator installed at the jail within the coming weeks. Milan raised over $900 with about 900 more coming from the Chicagan Chippewa tribe. Thousands of law enforcement officers will gather in D.C. this week to remember those killed in the line of duty. Katie Blakely has more on a generous gift that's helping an officer's family and community heal together. Recognizing service and sacrifice. Today, local law enforcement gathered with the Bro family's Hillwood Airways to prepare for a special flight. For them to step up like this in a time of such great need is one of the, thing, the things that helps us keep going. The Perros are donating the 737 to fly 80 people to Washington, D.C. for the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial, a somber service to recognize those killed in the line of duty. It's a moving event. It, it is a most important event in this time in our nation's history. On board will be members of Texas DPS, Fort Worth, and Mesquite Police, who lost Officer Richard Houston five months ago. The loss of Officer Houston 
had a tremendous impact on all of our city of Mesquite. His sacrifice resonates throughout our community. The husband and father to three spent 21 years with the department. He was shot and killed while responding to a fight in a grocery store parking lot. The Perros will fly his family alongside his Mesquite colleagues to D.C. so they can join fellow officers in honoring his life. You know, obviously they're hurting and we're hurting and, and it gives us an opportunity to hurt together, but, but also to remember the good times. Mesquite's police chief says it's hard to say thank you for such a generous gift, but believes the flight will go a long way in supporting a family and a community. It just brings a measure of healing that, that we really need. A college in Florida had its commencement and a surprising student led them through it. How the valedictorian overcame her disability to top her class will be broken down right after the break. Summer's here, and it's time to refresh your space, indoor or out. Get an incredible 25% off Slumberland low prices during our huge memorial sale at Slumberland. Explore our comfortable living rooms, bedrooms, dining rooms, patio, and more. When the insurance company knows a by golf and roadie is on the other side, they know they're in for a fight. They know that if they're not being fair with our client, they're going to find themselves in court, which is the last place they want to end up. So many attorneys will take in a case, but they won't go to court. That's the only way you can hold an insurance company accountable to make certain that you're getting the compensation that you deserve for the injuries you've suffered. And that's how by golf and roadie gets results for its clients. My dad risked everything to start a little construction company. He was the welder, and my mom drove the dump truck. Nothing fancy about that, but it was theirs. I'm Tim Michaels, and I'm proud to follow in his footsteps, growing the business from a few hundred employees to today, over 8,000. I'm not a politician. I'm a businessman who knows how to get things done, create jobs, and how to lead. And that's exactly what I'll do as governor. Tim Michaels for governor. Now's the time to get a Ford built for you, by you. Pick your color, your wheels, and other available features specifically designed for your Ford. Want an F-150 with a 12-inch touchscreen, 400 horsepower in an Explorer, or a moonroof? You've got it. And now an additional 1,000 bonus cash on top of all public offers. See your dealer for a Ford built for you, by you. Build and order your select Ford today and get 1,000 bonus cash in addition to all public offers. And I walked right into U.S. Cellular and I said I want to choose any phone in here for free. What'd he say? He said, sure. Really nice guy. I had my pick of any phone from any brand, free. Even the newest ones. Wow. Yeah. You got the big screen? Yeah. Big storage? Yeah. Fits in your pocket? Fits in my pocket. You know, it's a big phone and that's what I wanted and I got, I got what I wanted. At U.S. Cellular, we put you first. So choose any phone free. Plus, get unlimited data for just $30 a month. U.S. Cellular. America's locally grown wireless. Get an incredible 25% off Slumberland low prices during our huge memorial sale at Slumberland. Are you sleeping in pain but dread mattress shopping? Come to Slumberland, where each bed is rated for back support and softness. News Watch 12 is brought to you by Bone & Joint Walk-In Care. Florida's Rollins College celebrated its spring class of 2022 on Sunday with a very special valedictorian. She delivered an inspirational speech without actually saying a word. At just 15 months old, the doctors have said Elizabeth Bonker will not have the ability to speak after being diagnosed with autism. But on Sunday morning, Elizabeth delivered the valedictorian speech at Rollins College. I am one of the lucky few non-speaking autistics who have been taught to type. That one critical intervention unlocked my mind from its silent cage, enabling me to communicate and to be educated. Elizabeth shared her words of wisdom through a text-to-speech computer program. God gave you a voice. Use it. Because if you can see the worth in me, then you can see the worth in everyone you meet. Four other valedictorians nominated Elizabeth to deliver the speech in front of her graduating class of more than 500 students. So here's the keyboard. Elizabeth's mother, Virginia Breen, read her daughter's messages out loud for us as we talked to them over Zoom. I am not special. All non-speaking students with autism can be taught to type. That is my mission. We need to change the way the world sees autism. Just because someone cannot speak 
doesn't mean they can't feel and think. It was an extra special Mother's Day for Virginia as she watched her daughter take center stage. I'm going to burst into tears, I think, um, because it was such a long journey for us. Um, you know, there were times which felt a bit hopeless. Elizabeth says she'll always be hopeful that people will remember to serve for others, just like her mother did, by never giving up. Parents with children with autism, I hope that what they may take away from Elizabeth's story is that their children are capable and that we need to keep investing in them, advocating for them, believing in them. Sanai Gabriel-Gerges, Wash 2 News. In Wisconsin, everything's gotten so expensive because America's too dependent on China. So we sure know phony baloney policies when we see them. Senator Ron Johnson voted against cracking down on China with higher tariffs and tougher trade deals, and even voted against punishing China for manipulating its currency. No wonder everything keeps going up and up and up. Senator Johnson, stop making it easier on China and tougher on us. These squirrels are better at saving than we are. And more organized, too. Try embracing your inner squirrel. When you open a BMO Harris Savings Builder account, you get a cash reward every month you save. That sounds great. You can also set up savings goals and easily track your progress. That could help us redo the yard. You could really go nuts. <laughs> yeah, I'll show myself out. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. Maybe your bath is outdated, or it's difficult to clean, or it's just not as safe as it should be. Bella Friday here, and I am joined by Brian Gottlieb from Jacuzzi Bath Remodel. Brian, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Bella. So, Brian, two of the most common questions that we get are, what are the design options and are they affordable? What are the design options? It really have endless designs that Jacuzzi Bath Remodel has brought to the market, all with great colors and textures and hardware. Well, we actually come to your home and, and we bring all these things with us so you can design the bath of your dreams and the comfort of your own home. They'll even bring an iPad with them, so they design the the bath on an iPad as you're picking out choices so you can really see what your bath or shower will look like. And how does Jacuzzi Bath Remodel make that affordable? Yeah, so on that very same iPad that we did the design work, they can do a very simple credit application and get an instant credit decision. So not going to the bank? No, none of that. It's a simple signature loan. And what are some of the different uh, terms for that? Sure, well, we have a couple of different programs. We have a 12-month same as cash program if you want to not pay anything for a year. But we also have programs where the, the entire payment is about 1% of the overall project. Okay, so just doing some quick math, if someone were to update their bathroom for $7,000, that's only $70 a month? Yeah, it's really affordable. Imagine that uh, having a beautiful bath installed in your home for $70 a month, you don't have to deal with a, a dangerous bath or a bath that's dirty anymore. You can truly have the bath of your dreams. And I happen to know that Jacuzzi Bathroom Model brought some great savings. Take a look. Now, for a limited time, we're waiving the installation costs on your new bath or shower project and we'll postpone all of your payments for one full year. Now is the best time to finally get the jacuzzi shower you've always wanted. Remember, your installation costs are waived and we'll postpone all your payments for one full year. This is a limited time offer, so be sure to call now and start saving today. Huge auction, Merrill, Wisconsin, Chevrolet truck, John Deere lawn tractor, gorgeous antiques, home content, sporting goods, tools, and more. Contact Brass and St. Louis Auctions for more details. All right, so some spotty thunderstorms are popping up up there, especially some, some severe thunderstorm warnings were just in effect in Florence and Forest Counties as Crandon really had gusty winds, really uh, heavy rain, and even some quarter to ping pong size hail. But right now, those storms have dissipated, and overall, We'll be in an active pattern the next couple of days with warm temperatures. Look at those 80s by Thursday and Friday. Then we start to cool off by the weekend and beginning of next week with 50s and 60s. Okay, thank you, Conrad. We'll have more weather and news for you on Newswatch 12 at 6. 10, excuse me. Wheel of Fortune is up next.